Music Piano and um, for today I'm going to show you something special now um, I'm going to show you three ways which you can use the pitch bend now I'm just trying to cover out um, this this is among my advanced piano lessons so I just decided to bring out three ways out of it I've made um, some other premium videos about this where I showed a lot of ways where you can apply your pitch bend so um, I'm just going to go right away to the video now if you've not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel because this is going to be mind-blowing <music> Not all keyboards have the pitch bend actually, but if you eventually have a keyboard that has pitch bend, good for you. Okay, so it's always at the an extreme left of your keyboard and you can go up, you can go down. While some pitch bends, you can swipe right and left, but basically it goes up and goes down. But so I'm going to show you some mystery behind the pitch bend before I begin. <laughs> show you the pitch bend you know I use this pitch bend a lot in my play um, but if I want to play my guitar sounds I want to play my lead sounds I want to do a lot of things so I use this pitch bend a lot for example this one. so it gives you that life feel So it gives you that life feel that you actually really want to give it. Okay, so now, what does the pitch bend do? This is part two. You know, I've made a video about pitch bend before, but I was not really in detail. So now I want to go detail on it. What does the pitch bend do? Wait, say, okay, pitch bend, pitch bend, pitch bend. Now, this is the trick about pitch bend. Pitch bend is more like, it's just like a modulation. That's the one thing you need to know about pitch bend. Pitch bend is more like, it's just like a modulation. It goes two semitones above the notes you're playing. <laughs> two semitones from the key. If you go up, you have moved, you have started playing two semitones from the notes you're playing. If you go down, you have started playing two, two semitones backwards. That's a tone. Now, some people use this pitch bend, maybe when they want to modulate, it's easier for them. You just take it up. There's a tape where you can use and tape down the pitch bend. Like this is F, for example. This is F. Now, this is G. See a G. So this is key G. So now, if I move up now, boom. You see this this my F turns to G. You see? That's two two semitones upward. Normally, this is my G. But if I move up, it means I'm moving up by two seconds. So, so go, coming back. So, when you understand this technique, it's, it's easier for you to understand how pitch bend works. If you're coming down to, when you move down, you're moving back by two semitones. Let's see, when I go down, go down like this. Go down. Now, this is, um, this is key. This is key. Um, this is key E flat. So this is E flat. Do you understand? So if I move down, you get it. Now my F key F has turned to E flat. So you see. So basically, that is what it does. So when you understand that first, you're able to now know what you're going into. For the pitch bend technique so the first one i'm going to give you is that since you know that okay pitch bend technique is um is mostly from when maybe it applies when you want to do your modulation i'm going to now give you the three tips now another thing you should understand before i go on to give you that tips is that pitch bend has there's something called pitch bend range range pitch bend range so it, in some keyboard you see it's pb range um i'm trying to check if when you see something okay you see it pb range let me show you let me show you in this software now that i'm using you see it pb range so this is it here 
you can see it you can see it here so you see it's bend range that's bend range there and then keyboard you can see it's bend range so i'm using bend range and two you can decide to use two a lot of people use two and pitch bend range two is quite good for them i love using two it's cool so it's good for me if you put it in three your pitch bend velocity the way it sounds will change like if i do like this now let's let's change it now to three and see what happens three sound like so you see so it's good to just set it so when you only your pitch bend make sure that your pitch bend range is on two range two so you can do more research on that and that's good to go now pitch bend pitch bend pitch bend the first technique i'm going to show you by the way have you subscribed have you subscribed if you don't subscribe i'm going to take your dog i'm going to take your dog or i'm going to eat your food so subscribe now the first technique i'm going to show you is using pitch bend on your note too or okay using pitch bend on your notes too yeah let me just take it that one using it on your tape too so anytime you want to play a song you want to play something and you just get your note too you can just go up you can just go up and play like watch now this is my one two one two one two two this is what i'm doing so i'm applying my pitch bend when i'm on my two then when i'm coming down on other notes i'm just running a skip i can do so yeah so i can do that. so so like i said this is a video of my premium videos uh for my private piano class so if you want to really learn in details how i apply this i'm going to show you so I'm just trying to show you to a general preview about pitch bend because a lot of people keep asking me about my pitch bend techniques and I'm just going to show you that. So that is it. Now what scale did I run on that? I don't know. Today today is not a scale showing the showing sound. I just want to show you three techniques you can use pitch bend and I'll be off. Um, if I get a lot of comments, a lot of reviews, I can decide to make a video to tell you the scales I run in between. <laughs> So you get, but today I'm just going to show you the two techniques, which is the first technique is you can use your pitch bend on your tube. Now, what do I do? When you get to your two, you press, you, you now have to count like a number. One, you press one, that your two becomes, you, you count two, which is two, one, two. So you're doing your two pitch bend. Then your pitch bend, you're going up. Once you're on your two notes, you're doing it made me one two so the one now is your two number, number two notes why your pitch bend is your two counting so you're counting one two so again so you're you're doing it fast so that gives you that note but you shouldn't stay there so long so that you catch the feet you can try so okay so again like I said, I'm not showing the skills and I'm just going to show you how to apply it. So you can go, you can just do your own. Then discover any skill you want to apply on that. If you want to know some very, very tight skills about this, I've told you, you can enroll for, you can send me a message on WhatsApp. I'm going to show you. These are premium videos. We have explained extremely those skills. So the next way you can use your pitch bend, you can use your pitch bend as your ending notes to give spice. Now I can do something like this. So again, maybe okay, maybe I'm concluding it so long. Okay. So again, or I can just or something like that. So you can always use that your ending notes. You can always use to end your notes. Maybe you want to run a scale. Let's say you want to run a blues. Scale. So you don't just stop there. I'm going to show you how I did this, what I just did now. So what did I do? I you just there, you know um the, the pitch bend, you can go up, you can go down. But now you're not going up, you're not going down, you're just at the middle while you're shaking it, you're just moving it small, small, you're shaking it up and down, up, down, up, down. You're like um 
what will I use now to, to give this example? You're just shaking it. So let's see what you're going to do. Make an example. Hold any note of your choice. Then shake it. That's how it sounds. I'd not say you should go up. I'd not say you should go down. You're in the middle and you're, yeah, you're shaking it. It's very cool. So you can now use it at when you're earning your skill, you can use it to end your skills. So that it gives you that feel. So, so you end. So you can do that. You can do. So you, so you get it. So very beautiful. Very beautiful. So that's the way you can actually use your pitch bend. So I'm going to give you the last one, which is the third one. There are so many ways you can use your pitch bend. I'm going to give you the third one. The third method you can use your pitch bend, which is, which is, um the third way is, you can use your pitch bend on two notes. You know, I've only shown you how to use pitch bend on maybe a single note. I've shown you how to, but you can do something like this with your pitch bend. Again, so you can do that. So, on two notes, you can still use it on three notes, four notes, but I'm just going to show you this. So, you can do that now. On this point, now you're coming down, so you're coming down towards down. So, you're doing something, you're doing something like this. So now this is what I did. So you're doing your um you you you're doing something like this. And you remember your pitch bend, you're going down, downwards. So you're doing something like this. Um Okay, okay, this is what you do. You hold your pitch bend, you, you're going down with your notes at the same time. So see, so this is my five. So I'm pressing my five and I'm also going down with my pitch bend at the same time. So get so watch me. Now we'll do it slowly. Now you have to be very, very skillful about this. So you can now do it. Five. I'm doing on my five. Five. Uh, the second note you're not holding anything, so I'm doing five, five, ten, five, five, ten, six, okay, five, ten, six, eleven, and then you have your seven, twelve. So, very easy. Now, you're going to really appreciate this particular method if you're using something like a guitar sound. Let's see. Okay, so let me check the guitar sound. So uh, you're doing something. You see how it sounds very cool. Now remember, I've shown you this, this is the second method where I told you you can use it as your ending note. So, so this is when you want to do something. If you want to use three notes. So, so there are end notes given. So, so, remember, so there are so many ways you can use the pitch pen, but I'm just going to stop here at the three ways you can use the pitch pen. You can even use pitch pen when you want to do some regular feels, something like. So, remember, so you do. is on ending it's on ending so basically um that is how you can play the pitch band please don't forget to subscribe to my channel um subscribe like share this video tell someone about this video make sure you check the video description of this and to get uh, to get to follow me on audio mark on facebook on instagram my whatsapp number is there also you get to chat me up if you want some private license or if you want some other lessons from me.
okay for now i'll just run a little freestyle on this instrumental i created a beat store on my instagram page so i don't upload all my instrument on my youtube page so i created a beat store on my instagram page so you can go and check my instagram page the description you can check the link in the description below of this video so you see a lot of beats i've created there so you can go and check this is one of them i just dropped them so i'm just going to run a freestyle on this no, no, no. guys that's it now uh subscribe 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 okay take care and for today i'm showing you something special